What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a sample and stretch it and make sure that your transients are hitting on the grid. Now, I'm not talking about the stretch tool inside the playlist of FL Studio. Check this technique out. All right, so let's jump right into it. Sometimes when you chop up a sample, you got an audio. When you scroll in, you'll see that the transients are not lined up on the grid. The grid is right here. Okay, the grid is right here. So it's not technically lined up and stretched properly. So I'm going to show you how you can manipulate this to make sure that your transients are hitting on the grid. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Open this up, take a look at the chords we got. Sounds like it's in time, right? But when you add the drums to it, let's take a listen now. All right, first thing I'm going to do right from here, I'm going to go over here to where it says track six. I'm going to click it, right click, and I'm going to consolidate track from start. Hit start. I'm going to make it audio. All right, so now that we got the audio, I'm going to mute the chords right here. Let's take a listen again. So you can see the chords are still hitting early, right? So what you're going to do from here is you're going to double click on the wave, right click, click on edit in time warper. All right, this is going to pop up. Now, by default, this should be highlighted. What you're going to do is unhighlight and click the chain. Now, all you want to do is make sure that your chops are right on the grid. So I'm going to take this. Move that over. Okay, you got to do that every single chop. That's slightly off. Let's nudge that over. So all that we're actually doing is going in and micro-stretching individual segments of that loop to make sure that it hits perfectly. Go to the next one. Pull it back. Pull this one back slightly. Keep going. That one's off. We'll extend it. You have to zoom all the way in. That one's slightly off. Keep going, almost done. Pull this one back. Just about finished. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go right here to where that little arrow in the square is. You're gonna drag and drop that into your playlist. Okay, let's mute the original audio that we had. The waveform now, you can tell that everything is pretty much lined up on the grid. So now let's take a listen to the drums and the sample hitting at the same time. <laughs> That's how you get your uh, your sample stretched perfectly in time with the BPM in FL Studio. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next